Hey guys, it's Diana Tabua here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to drape a deep V-neck bodice. So let's begin. So here I am working with a yard and a half of muslin fabric. So to start off, I cut down my muslin to 22 inches from the top edge, and now uh, I'm gonna cut it in half, as you can see here, which will give me two pieces of 22 by 20 inch muslin piece. So I'm gonna press it out, make sure it's nice and neat. So here at the edge of the selvage of the muslin, I'm going to place my ruler there at one inch and draw my center front line, as always. Now on this piece, I decided to draw a one inch at the bottom of the muslin because this was a guideline because the way I'm gonna drape it this time will be different from usual. Now I'm gonna go ahead with the second piece and draw my one inch center front line as well. That will be for the back portion when it's time to drape. So instead of me placing the center front against that center front line on the dress form, I'm gonna put it diagonally from the shoulder down to the center front line at the bodice. This will help keep my neckline straight without having any gaps or excess that might happen if I were to cut it on a diagonal instead. So here you're just gonna basically um, place the center front line of the muslin um, at the highest point of the shoulder where I'm showing you right here and I'm gonna pin that down in place and then I'm going to allow it to go diagonally across the center front of the dress form. If it goes over the center front line, that's okay. Um, I'm using the line at the bottom to help guide to make sure that it's straight against the floor. But uh, I'm gonna fold in that one inch uh, center front. I'm gonna fold it inward all the way down and pin it in place so that way it doesn't move. Um, here I'm going to determine how far down I want to go and bring my neckline. You can decide if you want to go all the way down to the waistline. I went down to uh, mid waist and then came down on the um, on a dress form. So here I decided that I wanted one dart instead of two darts. So I decided to do a dart that goes diagonal from the apex of the bust all the way down to close to the side seam. Now, as you can see, this is going to be a diagonal. This is going to eliminate the princess dart and bust dart as well. And I'm going to have a diagonal dart, which I preferred better. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that excess of fabric right there to create my dart and smooth the areas out while I'm draping. So here I'm going to smooth it towards the back, that fabric towards the back by the armhole to make sure it's nice and smooth so I can make sure I can reshape that dart. So here on the side, um, I see that I need some more ease to allow the fabric to smooth around the waistline. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slash into those areas just to help smooth the fabric and ease it in. I'm going to cut away this excess fabric that I don't need at the side. And then I'm gonna slash into the waistline, but not all the way to the waist mark but just enough for me to allow the fabric to ease in. Just like so. I'm gonna reposition my pins at the side seam and just readjust my dart to make sure that's the shape I want. And I continue to slash at the waistline towards the back at the side seam. Now once I've done that, I'm going to mark my shoulder at the highest point of the shoulder and then mark where I'm going to stop my neckline. And then I'm gonna redraw in my center front line while using the dress form center front line as a guide. Then after that, I'm going to draw in my waistline using the waistline mark tape. The 
and then I'm gonna mark my bus start. Here I'm marking the front side of the dart and then I'm marking the back side of the dart. Once I have done that, I'm going to take it all the way down to the waistline and continue to mark that all the way to the side seam. I'm going to use the side seam stitching on the dress form and follow that. Now I'm going to mark my armhole and mark the end of the shoulder at the shoulder seam. Now once you have complete it will look like this and now it's time to drape the back. So here I'm going to take the other piece of muslin that I had and I'm going to place it onto the center back of the dress form and pin it in place. So just make sure that you have enough room at the top that goes over the shoulder. Um, I came down about 4 inches so that way you have enough room to drape. And then you want to push all that fabric forward to the front from the shoulder seam. As you can see the fabric is tight at the neckline of the back. All you have to do is just cut into that neckline so you can allow the fabric to ease in. So just slash into it but don't slash all the way to the next seam. Pin the excess at the side seam. Now once you have pinned the side seam now it's time for you to create your dart. The dart I'm going to come mid to midway of the armhole or lower don't go higher than the midpoint of the armhole and you want to start creating your back dart so I'm going to follow it by using the back princess seam to create that dart once I pin that into place again if you see that the fabric has um, is straining a little bit just go ahead and just cut into the fabric to ease it in so you can smooth that out and reshape it around the waist area. I'm going to cut away some of that extra fabric that's hanging there and then I'm going to now mark my side seam using the side of the dress form from the armhole down to the waistline make sure you mark your waist mark and then I'm gonna mark the waist below the tape make sure you keep it consistent if you're gonna use above the waist tape stay above the waist tape for all pieces then I'm gonna mark up my dart on one side and I will do the same thing for the other side and continue on to the waistline Now you want to mark in the highest point of your shoulder and the end of your shoulder line and then mark your armhole. Make sure you smooth that out while you're marking. Lastly you want to mark the neckline of your back bodice.
Now once you have both pieces um, completed and draped, now it's time for you to put them together. So we're gonna go ahead and correct our marks. So we're gonna open up our pattern to see what it looks like. Here it is, the front portion of my drape bodice. Um, here I'm gonna mark my dart. As you can see, my dart is on a curve, so I wanna make sure I keep that curve. So I'm gonna do that for both sides of the dart. Since the dart has so much excess of fabric, I've decided I'm gonna cut it away. I'm gonna add a half an inch to the dart seam. And then for the center front, since I have redrawn my center front line, I'm gonna make sure I perfect that line. And then I'm gonna have a one inch center front that will lead right into the neckline. I'm gonna perfect the bottom of my bodice. and then draw in my side seam. Here I went in and drew in my armhole. Now I'm putting in my half an inch. I'm gonna repeat the same process once again for the back bodice. But this time I'm not gonna cut away my dart. I'm gonna leave it just as is. So I'm gonna draw in my dart to straighten that up. The back dart is more straighter than the front one. And I'm going to just perfect my line and add in my half an inch seam allowance. I didn't add any. Um, I didn't add any seam allowance to the neckline of the back bodice and the front bodice. That will be determined when I put the drape bodice back onto the dress form. So here I'm going to pin everything back into place and cut out my patterns. and put the pattern together again so I can refit it onto the dress form to see how it fits. And you will have this, and now it's time for me to place it onto the dress form. So I'm pinning it back onto the dress form. Here's the center back. And here's the center front. And it looks perfect. So once I've checked everything looks good, it's time for me to transfer it onto paper. Now transferring your patterns onto paper, I wanna make sure that I get most accuracy from my pattern, so I go ahead and press it out to make sure everything is nice and neat. I draw my center front line once again on my pattern paper. Place the center front of the front bodice against that center front line. The neckline is on a diagonal and I still decided not to add any seam allowance to that because I think it's fine the way it is. And I'm going to trace the pattern all over again. using my tracing marker to mark the dart. And I'm going to add in the half an inch. So here I'm cutting it out. I decided to leave the center front with a half an inch to just give me the option to put it against the fold or cut out twice and here I'm drawing my grain line now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the back bodice and retrace it here I'm drawing my center front line placing the back against that line 
the center back of the bodice will have a seam allowance of half an inch and retracing the whole bodice again and then tracing my dart and make sure you mark your waist mark on both pattern pieces the center back of the bodice will have a seam allowance of half an inch and I'm drawing in my half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern Once I've done that, I'm going to cut out my pattern and they are ready to be tested to see how it fits. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.